it's the new frontier for renewable energy. Offshore wind turbines are in high demand, and suppliers are working at full capacity. Ziag is one of them. Up to now, the steelmaker specialized in wind turbine towers for land use. Now the company is turning its attention out to sea. As part of expansion plans, it's taken over a shipyard in Emden on Germany's North Sea coast. 1,200 workers were once employed at the Nordsee Werke. Only 700 remain under its new owners, including Ole Christian Bolze. The engineer is overseeing restructuring the yard. On the one hand, it's a sad story for shipbuilding when you look back, because it has such a long tradition here. But on the other hand, entering a new sector like this is a step forward. It gives us new opportunities and security heading into the future. Ships were once built in these huge sheds. Now they're being converted for the wind energy industry. But the running costs are high, and SIAG is under pressure to get ready for production as soon as possible. The modifications should be finished by the end of the year, and the first orders are already waiting. In this shed, SIAG will assemble the massive platforms and towers for the wind turbines. Once finished, they'll be lifted by cranes straight out through the retractable roof. The fabrication process begins with the individual platform levels. The crane carries each segment directly onto a waiting freighter, and from there, they're transported out to sea. The Nordseewerke's two-kilometer-long wharf gives it an enormous advantage. SIAG's main plant is situated in Leipzig. For 15 years, it's constructed towers for land-based wind turbines. But the logistical problems have multiplied. Its enormous heavy load transport vehicles can only travel at night. The biggest tower made here is 125 meters tall, made with steel rings bent into shape with hundreds of tons of pressure. It's labor intensive work. SIAC engineers have developed technology to keep the cost of materials and personnel down. The biggest challenge was moving the huge steel sections within the confined production area. In Emden, space is no longer an issue. With offshore wind energy, you work in entirely different dimensions. And there are other demands in our weatherproofing and quality control departments. Corrosion is obviously a big problem because of the high salt content in the water. The industry is still in its infancy, and there are still no long-term studies about how the generators will hold out in rough seas. SIAG executive Thomas Marutz knows there's going to be a steep learning curve. Some people think this is existing technology, and everyone understands the market, and we know how the currents will affect the ocean floor. That's not the case at all. We're like the automobile industry at the beginning of the last century. No one thought the VW Beetle would be built in the millions. Last year alone, SIAG built 900 land-based wind generators. They're now planning to build many times that number in the world's oceans.